What's going on guys, Apple Advanced here, today I'm going to show you guys how to download Nintendo DS emulator back again on an iOS 9.3.5 device or lower. If you guys want to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now, and let's begin with today's tutorial. Now this is literally the same exact video slash method slash um, tutorial that I uploaded about two days ago on how to download Nintendo DS emulator. Um, um, which is NDS for iOS. So I, this is the same exact video, and so if you're one of those people who have my notifications turned on, or if you're um, a person who visits my channel on a regular basis, it's literally the exact same video I uploaded two days ago, except yesterday the Apple just released a new firmware, iOS 9.3.5, and it's supposed to protect you against malware that they actually found on 9.3.3 devices. And just to be sure, if you're like on a 9.3.4 device, then I really recommend up updating your phone to like 9.3.5 as supposed to protect you against that malware that can actually access your photos, videos, your iTunes credit card, if you do have one linked up to your credit card messages and in your actual um, calls and stuff like that and that's not what you want you don't want someone um, recording your calls or recording your messages or anything like that um, so if you really are a privacy junkie then really really hop on to this bandwagon of people who are updating to it and I know a lot of people are updating to it as they really want to protect their privacy I mean I can't blame you that's why I, up I updated to it I don't want nobody snooping through my phone so um, basically it's the same exact video I uploaded two days ago there's no point of watching it again but anyways if you're still around then that means you really want to know how to do this and I'm gonna stop talking and let's begin so you want to hear the link in the description below and it'll take you to iEmulators.com now once you're on iEmulators it should look just like this on the actual home screen it'll say home apps and help and then you want to click on apps scroll down all the way until you can find a blue looking Nintendo DS logo now the first one you'll come across is going to be a red one that says INDS but you actually want to just go past that and click on NDS for iOS go ahead and click install and then a prompt should actually pop up from there asking you would you like to install NDS for iOS you want to just go ahead and click install and basically once it's on your home screen it should just load up. Now here's the actual trick. If your internet speed is fast or slow, this will either be a pain or this will be really easy. So if your internet speed is slow, this is going to be very easy. You want to head over to settings, in general, scroll down to find date and time, turn on set automatically, change your date back one year from today. So that for me will be like August 26th of 2015. Depending on how fast you do this, um, it will either be really easy or really not. Um, so going to August 26th right there and remember um, if you get that prompt as telling you that you know it has a NDS for iOS cannot be installed at this time or something like that and ask you to retry click done you want to actually click done and actually go back into that website and download it again and do this glitch because that just means your internet's too fast for the actual glitch or it's just your internet's too fast for you as you have to be fast enough before it can actually come up with that prompt you want to be fast enough to go to settings general to Turn off the set automatically and change your day back one year from today. So if you are a slow person or if you're you're a slow person and your internet is fast, then this will be a difficult time for you. But basically, once you turn your like date back like one year from today and you still haven't got that prompt telling you that um, it cannot be installed, you'll basically go back to your home screen and it'll either be still loading up or it'll already be done. So it'll look just like this. When you click on it, it's gonna say untrusted enterprise developer. You want to go and click cancel and and then actually set your date back to automatically. So go on and do that right now. And then go to settings, general, scroll down all the way until you can find profiles and device management. Go ahead and click on that. Scroll down all the way until you can find the certificate app that says right there. And go and click trust on it. Then a prompt should ask pop up asking you would you like to trust it or not you want to actually just go ahead and click trust it'll load up from there and then you have access to NDS for iOS back again on iOS 9.3.5 device or lower now if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so right now and this has been Apple Advanced and see you guys